ready for beautiful, natural looking, easy to apply nails, recolored in seven luscious hues. Just our impulses are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. Oh, goddamn hacker, that second damn night that asshole's cut in. These signals being sent through time. Their intention to rule rests with the annihilation of consciousness. We have been lulled into a trance. They have made us indifferent to ourselves, to others. We are focused only on our own gain. Good evening. The Conservatives and Labour have been outlining their main pitch to voters. The Today, we launch the most ambitious and radical campaign our country has ever seen to bring real change to all parts of this country. And, and, great, and great to see so many of you here. What a fantastic crowd at the beginning of what I think is the most important election our country has faced for a, for a generation. The problem is really with the people you cover, the politicians, the celebrities, and the lawyers. And although their level of insincerity is astonishing, <laughs> it's still kind of fun to hear them talk. I mean, I think the analogy is in some ways a good one for this reason. We're looking at this through the prism of the Tory leadership contest. And actually, we should be looking at it through the lens of what is in the national interest. And, you know, the iceberg, the disaster that we're heading towards, is about what happens to our country. They speak, of course, with great caution because they must take care not to actually say anything. <laughs> Proof of this, according to their own words, is that they don't actually say things, they indicate them. As I indicated yesterday, and as the president indicated to me, but sometimes they don't indicate, they suggest. Let me suggest that as I indicated yesterday... And we see this through a who's up, who's down, it's like some kind of episode of 15 to 1, you know? This is not a game show. It's not a scenario where all is at stake is, you know, whether you win the prize or get a pat on the back by Noel Edmonds and go home empty-handed. I haven't determined that yet. See, they don't decide, they determine. If it's a really serious matter, they make a judgment. I haven't made a judgment on that yet. When the hearings are concluded, I will make a judgment, or I might make an assessment. I'm not sure. I haven't determined that yet. But when I do, I will advise you. They don't tell, they advise. I advised him that I had made a judgment. Thus far, he hasn't responded. They don't answer, they respond. He hasn't responded to my initiative. An initiative is an idea that isn't going anywhere. Doublespeak is language designed to evade responsibility, make the unpleasant appear pleasant, the uh, unattractive appear attractive. Basically, it's language that pretends to communicate but really doesn't. It is language designed to mislead while pretending not to. All the clues right before our eyes, yet makes us miss their real meaning, reinforces how primed we are to accept the surface narrative we're given. And that's what it is. People know better. People sense better, but they go against it. They just think it's the, the, there's no consequence. We should be aware of it so that we can at least be defensive and, and defend ourselves so that we're not misled through it. But secondly, there are times when we simply cannot tolerate this language. When we talk about important public issues of national policy, we should not use doublespeak as a nation. We should not use it ourselves. We should not allow the politicians who are speaking to us to use it. Language that way can be terribly corrupting in a society and can mislead all of us. And in a democracy that depends upon the active participation of its citizens, it can lead to cynicism and resentment and a withdrawal from the political process. The fault line is no longer about left versus right. It's about values. Whether we are open or closed, liberal, authoritarian. We all know this. Do you have a sec? Sure. We're the right Twix factory, making cookie layered with caramel covered in chocolate for the right side of the pack. Yeah. And next door is the left Twix factory, and they make cookie layered with caramel covered in chocolate. No, cloaked in chocolate. Totally different process. And so the choice before us is very stark and very clear. 
Uh, I say to everybody, I say to all of you here, to everybody watching, come with us, which is a party that supports a fantastic education for every child in this country, because we believe in opportunity across this country. Of what is going on in the present, in this past year, where words seem to be a means of manipulating others rather than of ascertaining and expressing the truth, I'm not asking what's better or best. I'm asking you where you think we are going at a time when words are used mm. not to reveal truths, but, but to generally hide. to hide them. Yes, I think that's exactly what's happening. That uh, it, it's shown up in the last oh, 20 years in government that things, you know, search and destroy is not search and destroy, it's win the hearts or whatever the glib phrase is or the neutral bureaucraties that language is used to obscure. And if you remember, in George Orwell's 1984, he has a really brilliant appendix where he talks about the function of newspeak, the language that was invented by Big Brother. Newspeak offered people fewer and fewer words to describe their experience. There was double plus good, plus good, and good, and so on for bad, and that was the whole of positive and negative experience. And the rationale was that by limiting the, the words and by carefully defining the words that are used in public discourse, you limit the reality, you define the reality, and you obscure what's really going on by calling it something else. And we're in real danger of that happening. Euphemisms, misdirections, reversals, and outright lies infest our minds, bewildering, confusing, and isolating us. If we are to change the downward spiral of our world, we must escape from the fog of false words to the reality of reason and truth. Just think of the words that surround you that have no connection to anything real or tangible or true or good. You say, This is a moment of more seismic change. Whether a new and different politics emerge. Millions of voters have that choice in their hands at this election. We need a new election, we need an election and a new parliament because we can't go on like this and because now is the time to make a change and unleash that tidal wave of investment that's going to flow into this country, a great surge of confidence into the UK. We launch the most ambitious and radical campaign our country has ever seen to bring real change to all parts of this country. Change is possible and you get to choose. My friends, we have no choice. You have the illusion. You have the illusion of choice. Right. You don't get the real importance. There's no exactly. freedom of choice. <laughs> this is a huge decision for our country perhaps the biggest we'll make in our lifetimes. And it will be the final decision. So to those who suggest that a decision in the referendum to leave would merely produce another stronger renegotiation and then a second referendum in which Britain could say, stay, I say, think again. We stop Brexit. We will be able to use that Remain bonus to invest in our public services. We're the only party standing up to say that we will stop Brexit and build a brighter future. Fresh, vital, the old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. Like what's something that you've learned since being in government that you kind of wish, I, I suppose, when you were... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... One, that it's all fake. Mm -hmm. You know, that was really a very sad moment. Well, it's true. It's true. You can see it. You can smell it. Anyone who can't see it or smell it doesn't understand. Yeah. The reaction I get to doublespeak from a lot of, uh, of readers of the Quarterly Review as they write to me is, well, of course I know this language. I see it all over the place. I see it all the time. But, you know, what, ca what else can you expect from politicians? They all lie. They all use doublespeak. It is that cynicism which leads to there's nothing I can do about it, so people withdraw. The real looting in this country takes place in the transfer of the wealth from the poor to the rich. I'm sorry that you don't like class and the truth, my friend, but you just stuck with it. I'm class right, is right. Right. And the poor have been systematically looted in this country. The rich have been made richer. Try these on. Look, you crazy mother. 
Put these on. Hey! Stay away from me! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a... Get these these foolish elections. The owners of this country don't care about the poor in general. The owners of this country. What are we going? What, is this Karl Marx talking to me? The owners of this country are no. the voters of this no, country. You're wrong about that, my friend. Aren't you're the owners of this wrong. country the voters in this country no, who no, elected they're, George no, they're Bush? Not. Listen, pro one in control, huh? Yes. Who's in control? <laughs> in control. Huh? Are you? Am I? The guards outside? The warden in his office? Yeah? Who's in control? I don't want to fight you. Come on! I don't want to fight you. Stop it! No! These people went to the same universities oh, and please. fraternities, they're on the yeah, same boards of directors, they're in the same country clubs, they have like interests, they yes. don't need to call a meeting, they know what's good for them. It's a don't! You'll upset the PC babies. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> I'll be... Thank you. Out in the open the now. They're out in the open now. They're not even trying to conceal it anymore. The owners of the country have to, they bought their elect, got their election. They said we're going to get this election. We put you people in that court for a reason. All right, now's back the time to, to pay Earth us. for you and now. Yeah, forget all that stupid. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> they're out in the open. There is they're open, no. They're openly driving the bus, and we're all in the back. It's like a, a bendy bus. I banned them in London. A bendy bus jackknifed on a yellow box junction. Nobody can get round it. It's blocking the traffic in every direction. And the uncertainty and the delay are bad for the country. And so, at long last, after each has responded to the other's initiatives, and each has reviewed the other's responses, and everyone has taken a position, made a judgment, and offered a recommendation, now they have to do something. <laughs> but that would be much too direct. So instead, they address the problem. <laughs> We're addressing the problem, and we'll soon be proceeding. Welcome to the Grand Illusion. Come on in and see what's happening. Pay the price, get your tickets for the show. We have to move the process forward so we can implement the provisions of the initiative in order to meet these challenges. His novel 1984 addressed the importance of language in society and the control and manipulation of language to control and direct uh, society. I think the most important point in 1984 is that power grows not out of the barrel of a gun. Power grows not out of the uh, thought police and rule by terror, it grows out of the power of language. And right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context. What is reality? Reality is not external. Reality exists not in the mind of the individual, which soon perishes, but in the mind of the party which is collective and immortal. What the party says is reality is real. And how else can the party do that? Except by language. The party has taken control of language and has taken it away from the individual. And that's the power, because those in power who control language control the way we see the world. It seems to me we are working as a society more and more and more to close our minds and to leave, as you suggest, room for less and less. That's right. How many fingers am I holding up? Four. And if the party says there are not four, but five, then how many? Five. Put on the glasses.
Why do you think that Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as... Let's get Brexit done, my friends, and get on with our project of sensible, moderate, sensible, moderate, back tax-cutting, one-nation conservative and spreading hope and opportunity across the whole of the UK. And that's when he's at his very best. That's when he trots out the really good stuff all across this great land of ours, the greatest nation on earth, the greatest nation in the history of the world. The choice, the choice could not be clearer. We put our faith in the British people's spirit and commitment to community. It's your country. That's why we stand with you. And there's a, there's, a, there's a key difference that we all face at this election, and that is, above all, come with us and we will get Brexit done. Yeah. Join us and be part of creating something new and exciting for our politics, for our country. A Labour government will carry out whatever the people decide so we can then get on with delivering the real change that Britain needs. Like tens of thousands of new Liberal Democrat members and activists who have joined our party, swelling our numbers, and who are getting stuck in, some of them already standing to be MPs. Labour will get Brexit sorted by giving the people the final say in six months. We will give the British people a referendum with a very simple in or out choice to stay in the European Union on these new terms or to come out altogether. It will be an in-out <laughs> referendum. There should be an option to remain and I for one will be out there campaigning to remain. The choice is in your hands. <laughs> 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 Anyone who reaches any position of power must either instinctively or knowingly know how to use double speak. Does it work? Yes. Oh, of course it works. I mean, most people don't hear it. Um, they will hear some of it, but not all of it. Politics, these elections are a charade. It is a charade. Oh, okay. it is, it is, they are meant to... I'll tell you, listen, just listen for a minute. Learn a little something. The ele elections and politicians are in place in order to give Americans the illusion that they have freedom of choice. Oh. You don't really have choice in this country. Now you write on this paper what I have taken from you. What have you lost? Write it! Write it! Wrong! Never had control. You only thought you had it. An illusion, tabby bourgeois. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like a kind of I'm very informative vermicelli. I don't know what a gigabit broadband is. It's going to be fantastic for our country. What the hell are you talking about? You remember, it's, it's there. You just whack it in the microwave. <laughs> gas mark, gas. I don't know what. Well, I'm not very good at cooking, but you know, <laughs> a ga gas mark four. It's there. It's ready. It is ready to go. Prick the lid, uh, put it in, <laughs> and and then we can get on. We can get on, we, do, we put this, get this deal through Parliament and then get on with all the fantastic projects in which this government is engaged. Now hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. What's that? Okay, one last chance. You think I won't do it? <laughs> That's one psychiatrist less to the world. I'm already deep in the pit. So what can they do to me? Last try. Get it right. What have you lost? 
What did I take from you? Right. Yeah. Congratulations. You're a student after all. And you've lost nothing but your illusions and a little bit of skin. They might not be in property. Try to say it properly. Working on my tech, but I am the anomaly. They know I'm the shit like an elio colonoscopy. They know I'm the shit by just looking at my discography. They know I've been sent to awaken this idiocracy. Mass media, hypocrisy, turn into a worker bee. Harvest the honey tree. I'm just being honest, B. Mother Earth quakes underneath. By the sky, up above the sea. God the Father, the sky, the Son of God, the Son. I'm in rock, the eye. No more amen, no more folded hands, goodbye. Adios, au revoir. What else is on? Yeah, let's see what else is on. the TV guy? Epstein is dead. Yes. The women are now being heard. Quite rightly. Thanks to our wives, our children, and Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. <laughs> <laughs>